we're talking about one of Covington's smallest neighborhoods. This neighborhood, you can think about it from Pike Street to Fourth Street, and then right over here to my left, Main Strasse Village, and it goes all the way over to the Central Business District, kind of like right there by Madison Avenue. It's kind of its borders, so to speak. This is such a cute little neighborhood. We're gonna meet the president of the Neighborhood Association today, talk about what this neighborhood that makes it so unique and people love to live here. And we'll take a look at some of the cool businesses and architecture. I know you're gonna love this one. From the locals, it's Mutter Goddess, Mother of God, based on the church name. We're also references Old Town on the map sometimes, but Mutter Goddess is what the one we kind of adopted for our neighborhood. Main Strauss is what drew us down here. We were coming down here pretty frequently. We actually sold our house in the suburbs to move down here because it just the, the scene was just so exciting. What's great about this neighborhood is that we're really positioned very well. It's five to 10 minutes, you can go to Main Strauss five to 10 minutes to the riverfront, five to 10 minutes to Madison, five to 10 minutes to Pike. I mean, there's a plethora of restaurants and events. Main Strauss is kind of a crown jewel for Covington. It draws a lot of people in, but I think what's great about the adjacent neighborhoods is that you get into some really interesting communities, and a lot of times in those areas, those people have been in the city for 10, 20, and the people putting on the barbecue fest have been here for 30 years. So we have a lot of long-term residents who have seen Covington go from, from, from its lowest lows to what it is right now in the last, you know, five, 10 years has really boomed. I think having these little, little tucked away neighborhoods are critical to fueling that. I'm looking forward to what it's going to be for my son, who we just started a family down here. It's really nice. They're really focusing on activating the riverfront and you know bringing a lot of energy down there. It used to be all wooded and kind of just not very attractive, and I think that is encouraging more people to get down and visit the areas. And the trail extends all the way under the freeway and all the way up into Ludlow, and so they're really, really trying to activate the whole city and kind of really gussy it up.